Hi, Matt Casey here. I'm in charge of content at Snorkel AI. I recently had a talk with Vincent Chen, who's a product manager at Snorkel AI, about new features on the Snorkel Flow platform, including auto-suggested labeling functions. He showed us how they work on a test case of Amazon reviews. Let's take a look. I'm really excited about introducing auto-suggested labeling functions. My goal here is to classify these Amazon reviews into one of you know, 50 or more categories. Getting started could be a little bit daunting for this type of problem, um, but with some of these iteration features, it can be a little bit more intuitive. I click open the auto-suggest feature, and right away, I have the ability to look at patterns that Snorkel has identified as particularly salient or interesting. Immediately, I can look at you know, trivially, yes, dolls are associated with doll accessories. I think there's this keyword about Avent uh, related to feeding. This is a really interesting case that, you know, now I've actually have the idea to kind of capture brands more, more readily in different types of features. But you could imagine that using Snorkel's auto-suggest capability here actually lets you quickly preview and get a sense of different ideas for labeling and just get those creative juices flowing. So you said something there about using this as inspiration, and I like what you're talking about there. What other kind of inspiration do you think people could see here? It really depends on the problem. What Snorkel is doing is suggesting intelligent clusters of data or patterns that I might find interesting. They might actually pick up on patterns that give me more ideas for what to capture. I've actually seen really, really interesting and, and kind of surprising patterns across different types of use cases. That's kind of the magic of you know being able to have this you know, human, uh, human machine symbiosis, if you will, um, in this process of providing feedback about this classification task. Okay, let's drill in a different direction. So you have here a few labels, and you've been clicking through these pretty quickly, a few seconds each. Uh, is this generally how quickly you expect users to go through them? Or do you think it'll usually take them longer to investigate? I think it's, it's actually uh, much closer to the true experience, um, you know, where Again, I might look at one of the patterns. I might scroll through a few snippets just to get a sense of where this shows up. I actually have all the information I, I need to, within a few seconds, make a call about whether I accept this or not. Again, the goal of this interface is to really quickly and interactively surface the kind of information a data scientist would need to make a decision about whether to accept or reject. Snorkel under the hood is actually denoising and combining each one of these labeling functions in a way that gives me confidence that the initial rules, the initial heuristics that I input don't have to be perfect. Your job is really to dump in all these signals and use the platform to iterate. If you were going to drill all the way to the end of this and use these auto suggest and then go beyond that, because you were saying these are a starting point, how long do you think it would take to get a reasonable model? In practice, I've seen projects that take on the order of months, uh, literally go down to being able to be solved in an afternoon. Often this is a day day or night experience in terms of usability and, and efficiency for, for many teams that we've worked with.